Hi guys, a for loop is used to execute a block of code n number of times. The syntax of for loop is pretty simple. Just write the keyword for, then initialization, condition and increment or decrement. Okay, let's understand this by a simple example. Let's print an array using a for loop. So for, then we initialize a variable that is i equals 0, then the condition that is till the length of an array and then we increment the value of i it's pretty simple now answer this question is this a valid for loop if you think yes then can you guess the output the answer is yes the only thing that matters is syntax. We initialize two variables i and j. You can even initialize more. The next is condition that is till i becomes 5. What if I want to add more conditions? Then you need to use logical operators. For example, i is less than or equal 5 or j is greater than 1. Or i is less than or equals 5 and j is greater than 1. At last is increment or decrement. We are incrementing i and decrementing j which is ok. And the output of this program is What if I created an empty for loop? Then what will happen? This is an infinite loop. This loop will never end. And we have to force stop this program. Now let's move on to for each loop in Java. For each is used to iterate containers like arrays and other DS. So syntax is easy. First the keyword for, then initialization, colon, and then the name of the container. We will use for each loop to print this array. So first our keyword for then initialization that is integer i colon and name of our container that is number for each iterates over a container we don't need to write the increment or decrement in for each while programming for each loops are prefer over regular for loops i just want to show you why you should prefer for each over for while iterating a container here we are using nested for loops but instead of using our regular for loop we can use for each you can see the difference right side look much cleaner and there is less possibility of committing errors so use for each loops where you need to iterate over the entire container otherwise use our regular for loop if you want to access the elements Let's quickly revise what we just learned. So syntax of for is easy. Initialization, condition and increment or decrement. Here I am simply printing this array using our for loop. And our array is printed. We have seen this code in our video. Let's run. And our loop is working perfectly. Now it's time for for each loop. So for then initialization and name of our container. Okay, what's wrong? And our for each is working perfectly. Guys, all my videos are free. 
we are not a team. I am just a one man doing all this work. Please hit that like button. Visit code archery and subscribe. Don't forget to share. And thank you so much for watching my videos.